this is Fanta from Fnatic Green. It's time for a bit of replay analysis. We've got a platinum replay here, and I'm going to read the message that the guy sent me. So I'm going to look over here at the second monitor, and the email subject is "What could I have done here?" Replay. I attached a replay of a game. Oh, actually, the guy's called Dav six 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 seven seven seven. I think he's called the same in game as well. I attached a replay of a game I lost against the big Protoss push to which I lose rather often, and I was wondering if you could give me some tips on what I could do against it. I was afraid to go Roaches as I didn't know whether he would go for Immortals or not. My Overlord sacrifice didn't really help me there. Maybe there's some build I can do that would work against both Gateway pushes and Immortal pushes. Or is there a good way to tell whether he's going for Immortals other than directly scouting the Robo Bay? I'm Platinum level, by the way. So I'm going to jump straight into replay and uh, continue that thought process right there. So Platinum player, struggling with two base all-ins basically. Um, you don't really need to know whether it's a mortal or um, a gateway timing, unless it's a really early gateway timing, like 7-gate, seven, uh, seven yeah, um, of two gas. So the main factors are going to be the gas counts in this. Because if you're doing a 7 gate, you don't need the 3rd and 4th gas, but if you're doing an Immortal all-in, you kind of need that more gas to be able to do the Immortal all-in. So, And there are like 4 gas blink all-ins, which is the plus 1 blink all-in, but that hasn't been used for a long, long time, so I'd be surprised if someone was doing that at Platinum level. And there's also the 3 gas blink all-in, which, which are basically the only gateway all-ins, except for some random mass seller all-ins of 1 gas. But um, they're really crazy, and I haven't seen one of those for a long time either. So basically, it comes down to the gas count, and we're going to see what this Platinum player is. We're going to go to... Oh, Hatch first. This is really risky. Why is he called Bob? I'm going to call him Dav. I think he's called Dave. So I'm just going to call him Dave. Hopefully he's called Dave. Um, his email had Dav in it, so I'm going to assume that he's called Dave. But Hatch first, really, really risky, especially on this map. Um... Like, there's so much space, uh, so many good spots behind the mineral line. And also, because your Overlord gets to the natural so late, you don't know if they've got Nexus first or Forge first. Um, sending this Overlord straight to the main is a really bad thing. You want to send it straight to the natural so you know exactly what they're doing. You know, whether it's a Gateway uh, yeah, gateway Expand, Forge first, or Nexus first. But this this Hatch first is really, really risky. Um, it, it is going to pay off here because he's going Nexus first, so you're going to get away with the Greed. But um, this Overlord's going to be in a really bad position as well. You want to go check over here, and then you send it into the main so you can look at both of the gas. And then you can hide it here, or here, um, depending on which gas you prefer. You can hide it here without it getting hit, and you can poke at this gas here and see what's going on there. Um, second Overlord position, I like this. Over the natural, it's good against cannon rushes, and since you're going to hatch first, you need to definitely be aware of cannon rushes. But this overlord's going to go in. Hopefully, this overlord will go over here somewhere, since we do need vision on these gas. That's the most important thing for defending in two base all ends, even more important than sacking. This overlord's not going anywhere, which should be going somewhere. Um, here he goes. So, that's just kind of a weird map, but um, I would send this overlord around this bit to that third, and I would probably send this one. Maybe to there, but I mean, you're gonna, you might lose it a lot in that situation. But you can put it on there, and they're probably not gonna kill it then. Or if you got this Overlord over here, then you can put it down here and poke at this gas as well. But that doesn't really matter too much. Um, it's probably better to have it there, since most people aren't gonna run a stalker up here and check there just to see if you've got an Overlord there scouting for the third base. Um, I kind of been distracted about from what's going on on the build, but you know, by now we should be seeing a third hatch going down if he wants to play uh, like standard three hatch. But again, he's got no vision. Um, how do I check the vision? So yeah, look, we've got no idea what he's doing in terms of expansions. All we've seen is this gas at four minutes 40. And, you know, essentially this could be a four gate, which would be warping in in 10 seconds, but we've got no idea. So this is really risky play from Dave. And so Dave should be going to check out here with his first overlord, see what's going on. I guess since he's doing this, it's really rare for players in Platinum League to do any kind of gateway expand. But if they did, then Dave would be in a lot of trouble. So we've got the links coming out. We haven't got a third base yet, which is going to be really bad for Dave's economy. And he's also flight, uh, floating 500 minerals. So yeah, this is um, 
This is pretty weird. We've got the third base coming up now with this drone. We want to get those injects going. In fact, I just want to jump on his camera and see what he's looking at. Oh, we've got the injects going now. Second inject. Building the drones. Got the third queen, but... That's going to need to spread creep now since we haven't got the third base. I'm taking the third base up here as well. Um, I usually take it down here. I guess I haven't really thought about it too much. Um, let's have a think about this. So this base, it's got more of a choke, but it, it's a lot closer, like one creep tumor and then pushing it out once is going to connect your creep to those bases. Whereas this, like, that's so far away. Um, I, I think this base is better because even though this is a bit of a choke, like it's still really, really wide. And you can also flank from this position as well. Um, also, this has got more chokes than that base, I guess. So I think this is definitely the superior third base because then you can take this base as well. And then you've got a really, really tight third and fourth setup. Whereas this should be more of a fifth base. So this, I don't think this is the best base to take. I think this is definitely a better base to take on this map. Um, we've got lings out the front, that's really nice. Poke them up every now and then to see what's going on at the front. And we got all the gas coming up. So I don't think this build is very efficient. Um, it's definitely a build. Actually, it's, it's not that bad, but it's just not efficient. Like, you don't need all of this gas that early. Um, yeah, we should be taking third base earlier and droning that up. Getting, like, two gas around 6 minutes, like this is like 4 gas around 6.30, so this is a lot of gas. And if this is like a 7 gate, then yeah, it's going to be very very hard to hold. So let's have a look at the all view. Um, right now we want to be looking at the gas count, so around 6.30 is when, uh, well, before 6.30 or around 6.30 is when a Protoss is going to be taking 3rd and 4th gas, if they want to be doing a tech build like either Stargate, Robo, or anything. So this is around the time, well 6.30, 7 minutes now, around 6.30 you want to be looking at the gas and if there's no 3rd, 4th gas by 6.30 you want to be throwing down a Rotoron so that you're safe against the all-ins that would come off uh, 2 gas. So it looks like it's going to be a 2 gas all-in now. Um, this guy is actually going in for a peak on this gas right now so even though it's a bit late maybe he's going to throw down the Rotoron now so let's have a look. He's seeing that gas. Is he going to respond with a Rotron? Because no gas at this point is really, really, really late gas. Like, he's either going for fast third, and we've got the Ling there and the Ling there, so we know he's going, not going fast third. And he's got barely any drone, uh, probes on his natural either. For this timing, like, that is horrible. So right now, I would just be pumping units like crazy, because we've got no gas. We've got four probes on the natural. That is basically nothing. I mean, let's have a look at the probe count here. Um... Units. He has 34 probes. So this guy is cut super early for an all-in. He is transferring some over now. Um, that was just a late transfer. So we did have more probes than that. And he should have 16 on here at some point. But, um, oh, oh, oh. What's this guy going to see? So he sees two gates going down. So you don't really get any information. But the most information you got was the gas. I mean, the, the, I mean, the most simple way to think about this is... I mean... If they're taking gas, both of the gas, like they've got to get eight more probes and that 150 mineral investment to saturate them, which means they can't do silly stuff like this because eight probes is a lot, man. It doesn't sound like much, but eight probes, two gas, and then filling them up, like it's so much to take on. So, yeah, if you don't see these on the gas, like you're just taking a ridiculous drone lead. And if he had the eight in gas, then your drone lead drone lead wouldn't be so ridiculous because say he had 16 on here so it's 16 16 it's 32 and then he's got six on each base which is 12 which is 44 yeah yeah that's right yeah i'm pretty sure yeah 44 so if he had 44 like 55 drones is is like a nice amount but you're going to be going up to like 60 um saturating this third base also the saturation is pretty bad um we've got 23 drones on here we should be looking for 16 and um, if you had your saturation perfect right now, this uh, this base would nearly be saturated, at least on minerals. So definitely look out for your saturation. That is one of the most important things that lower level players seem to forget. So yeah, we want to be doing that. And infestation pit and hydrolyst then. So basically we're going way too tech heavy to hold off a two gas all in, which is going to be like, this is a seven gate, yeah. So we've got a two gas all in. Um, against two gas all in, like I said, 
you scout the gases at the natural around 6:30, and if you don't see any, if you don't see any gas, then you throw down a roach warren. Um, you can drone up to like 55, 60 supply at max. I'd stay around 55 if there's just uh, two gas in the main. And then you just start pumping units. Because like if you go too far on drones, if you go too far on tech, you're just going to die. And you know, this game is pretty much just going to come down to that. Um, and also the uh, the opener was pretty bad. And we're actually going up to full 3 base saturation with like, taking the gas as well. But the attack is coming now. But this is kind of irrelevant. Like the micro is irrelevant right now. And the control or whatever. Since this game's over by the decision making and also the opening build. I mean, the opening build wasn't that painful. It still worked out okay. Let's have a look at seven minutes because around seven minutes, you can, around 710, you can get to 70 supply. Um, but as you can see, this guy's up at, Dave's up at 54. Let's see when he gets to 70, see how far behind. So it's not that bad, like, well, I guess it is pretty bad. We're only getting, still not at 70. So we're getting 70 at 850, so that's nearly two minutes behind in macro compared to what you can be. Like, obviously, you're in Platinum League, I'm not expecting you to be perfect, you're like 710, 70 supply. But, um, you know, basically, so the main points to check from this replay is work on your opener, because this opener was really, really greedy. Um, send the Overlord straight to the natural to look for the expansion so you make sure you're not being even greedier because if it's a gateway expand you do need to get a gas and react to that um don't go hatch first because hatch first is really risky go pull first i mean the economy is it's identical it's actually identical if you go in three hatch so hatch first is really really worthless um it's just a big risk to take um the decision making, um, basically if they don't take the third and fourth gas, then you need to react to that because it's probably going to be an all-in or a fast third base. And since you had good control of the third base for the Protoss, then yeah. And also probably build, we did have four links actually, I was going to say build four links, but we just got two links sat on here doing nothing. Um, at least pull one off and have him scout in the corners of the map so you can find these kind of pylons. That would also be great. So opening build and yeah no third fourth gas it's probably going to be an all-in and that's that's pretty much it um if it's third fourth gas it's going to be a tech build yeah i think i think that's pretty much it so work on the opener and work on spotting the third and fourth gas work on not being so greedy and then you should be good like these all-ins aren't that good. You just need to know about the gas counts. So yeah, hope this helps you out, Dave. And um, yeah, guys, send me um, send me some replays because I haven't got that many in my inbox. Um, just send it to fen3r at gmail.com and leave a nice little subject, leave a nice little message that I can read out to focus on some specifics that you are struggling with. And I will get around to it probably next week. I'll be doing another one. So... Yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something, peace. Let's move, you get up to 42 supply, this is when you want to be taking your gas.